there is a good job opportunity and definitely you would like to take a reference from somebody if, but if you have started with java there's no issue you can move ahead with that there is definitely like no difference so i'm judging this parameter and then moving ahead and dry run with a particular example and you you will be able to implement it also hi guys Welcome to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel and in this video we are going to see how to become a 5 star coder on various platforms. You can choose any of the platforms and you can actually become 5 star coder within 4 to 5 months. Okay so in this video what will be the structure? First of all we will see what are the benefits, what is the prerequisite you require to become a 5 star coder. Then we will see what are the topics that you must study, what are the resources that you can see and what are the strategies that you should follow. And in the end, I will tell you some of the tips that are very useful for you. So in this manner, we will go ahead and we will become a 5 star coder in the next 4 to 5 months. Before moving ahead, I would like to tell you about the Coding Ninjas YouTube channel. Coding Ninjas is presenting various videos on the YouTube channel like journal long videos, shorts, technical videos and live sessions. And I would highly recommend you to subscribe to the Coding Ninjas YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified for every new video because every new video will be very helpful for cracking placements. So let's begin with the today's topic. So there are various benefits of studying competitive programming. First of all, if you go to your college or ask any of your seniors or batchmates, they would be like, if you do competitive programming for next five, six months, you will be in a better place to crack placement scenarios. So it would be very easy to get referrals. People will recognize you that, okay, you are a person who is very good in problem solving skills and they will definitely give you some opportunities. So one of the benefits that I would like to tell you is the improvement in your problem solving skills. Okay, next I would like to tell you about the placement and internship scenario. So if you have done and spended a lot of months, like four, five months or half a year at least. Okay, so half a year. So it would definitely help you in placement and internship scenario. How? Because initially we have online assessment round and in that case, competitive programming really helps a lot. Next that I would like to tell you about the referrals and recognition. So referral and recognition, if you send like if there is a good job opportunity and definitely you would like to take a reference from somebody, if you tell them or if you highlight that you are a five star coder in code forces, code chef or any other place, they will actually give you a better partial view because they are having a proper judgment on that as these sites you cannot fake out the ratings and all so it's definitely sure that you are having better problem solving skills and you will be able to clear out the interviews and you will be a good resource to the company okay these are the very good benefits that you should be taking care of if you're starting okay next start with the what are the prerequisite that could be so one prerequisite is having a good language see i wouldn't recommend python why? Because Python is something that takes a lot of time to compile and run and in competitive programming it's kind of a sport. So you need to actually get to a solution pretty fast and you need to make sure that uh, that solution is executing in pretty uh, fast also. So Python takes a lot of time so either choose C++ or choose uh, Java. So any of the two languages even there are more resources of C++. So if you are already uh, like on the beginner side you don't have any language then you must start with C++ because there are a lot of resources and it will definitely help. It also compiles faster than Java. But if you have started with Java, there's no issue. You can move ahead with that. There is definitely like no difference. Okay, if it's just starting, then you can incline towards the C++ part. Also, you should be having some basic knowledge of DSA and algorithm initially, like you have spent it one to two months, at least good amount of time I'm saying not like one hour each day, more than four or five hours on DSS. So you know the basics of recursion, you know, uh, sliding window, you know, like what are maps, what are STLs, what are array, what are backtracking, some of the good concept you should having a knowledge on. Okay, next let's get to the topics part. First of all, in uh, competitive programming, there are multiple topics like mathematics that you should be taking in consideration. There is topic of number theory we have, okay. And similarly, we will go on, we will see a lot of topics like greedy is there that we should uh, see a lot. Binary search and binary search, I would 
this right the short form binary search okay and uh, similarly we go on recursion that i already told you and backtracking so these are really important topics and if we see these are the initial topics okay so these are the initial topic that you should know if you're do doing with competitive programming if we move ahead we have some of the advanced level topics like segment trees are there and we have fenwick trees also but it's your choice okay then we have uh, dynamic programming we call dp we have graph present in it and we have game theory a lot of questions are asked on game theory itself so these are some of the topics that are not part like total part of data structures and algorithm but these are important for competitive programming fast fourier theorems and hld heavy light decomposition so these are the topics that you should be having care of like which topics you should be studying how much time like you should be spending these are the things that you should be judging on your own okay next if we go to resources so there are various resources available there is one book that is known as guide to uh, cp all major topics are covered in it okay so guide to cp all major topics are covered in it but with this book you need to also solve this a uh, problem set of cses 200 problems okay you will find this problem set on the net itself and book is also available in pdf format on some websites so you can read the book and side by side see the topics and solve the questions for that particular topic in the uh, cses website alongside that, there is some websites of cp algorithm so you can go to the website actually and what will happen is when you are at the cp algorithm website you can see a particular algorithm you can see what are the time uh, time complexity and space complexity of this algorithm what is the code and everything you can see all right also you can uh, watch various uh, guided paths by coding ninjas so guided path by coding ninjas uh, let me tell you about this so uh, code studio is a platform on the coding ninjas and it is a free platform which provide online code editor and compiler in various languages like python java c++ it is the best platform to prepare for your upcoming coding interviews it contains top interview questions their solutions and guided path to various topics of data structures and algorithms so you can actually see the guided path for competitive programming even there and it will definitely help you a lot so moving ahead what we can see is the strategy that you should be seeing so see strategy is like first of all giving contest is the only best strategy prepare for the cp book you read cscs problems that you do but giving contest is the major consistently giving the contest is the major point that will help you to achieve your mark how many contests you should give see there are more than six to seven contests per month all right so if you see there are six to seven contests per month available so how you will be going ahead so even if there are six to seven contests next you can see in the contest you are able to solve a or b kind of problem the target should be solving of the c kind of problem that is the main doubt many people have like i am able to solve a or b contest or problems from last couple of weeks but i'm not able to solve the c kind of problem so strategy should be that you should be given the contest and you need to target at the c kind of problems so this is the website actually in this website what happens there is uh, from the rating wise so if you are at 1500 rating and you need to go to 1600 to, you need to solve the problem of these levels if you are at another level you can decide okay let's get to the next step we should practice those questions and those questions will eventually help you in solving the question in the upcoming contest so this may uh, you are actually practicing for the next uh, targeted rating and you can move ahead also uh, i would like to tell you if you miss a contest there is an option for virtual contest so if you are available to give the virtual contest this should always help you a lot so in a virtual contest what could happen is you are given some uh, same time you can give it on your own ease and it helps in practicing and uh, making your time faster like time uh, sitting time solving faster okay so these are the strategies that i would like to tell you people many time also ask how to build the logic so how to build a logic is very good question see you should be always having pen and paper in your hand whenever you are solving the question okay there are three parts of a particular problem to solve first of all is understanding of the problem okay second is making the logic and third is implementation okay or code we can say so this is the part so i would say you should spend maximum time at this particular point so reading a problem 
and then you can understand it quickly so after that if you are having problem of building logic you should take a pen and paper and do the dry run of your approach like are you able to solve it if you are given some example cases how you are able to solve it using your own mind now you need to actually implement that logic itself so write the logic on the paper okay first thing is this i am judging this parameter and then moving ahead and dry run with a particular example and you you will be able to implement it also or build a particular logic so these are the amazing some of the strategies that you should be uh, having okay first of all tips so there are various parameters that you would be asking for so first of all is the accuracy so how you can improve the accuracy is keeping notes of your earlier problems so suppose you are having some in the loop variable you have used uh, incremental loop but uh, your variable is decrementing so it is going in different direction so you should write your errors and uh, memory segmentation errors if you are having and revise them before the next contest so this would actually help you in building uh like mindset okay last time i did this problem i need not to do this again so this will not uh, give me penalty in my contest and hence that will help in the accuracy part next is the speed so how you should be implementing the speed is definitely your uh, like speed of uh, reading problems it should be fast most time should be given on the logic part only others should be given minimum time like understanding of the problem understanding of the problem and implementation part so this should be given less time so your speed will be only increase if you are able to reduce that time you cannot reduce the time of logic like it will reduce itself eventually afterwards but understanding of a problem you need to understand it quickly use a pen and paper to understand it and implementation is uh, like how fast you can write the code i would say last thing is just practice practice and practice so this is the main thing just practice the code and everything you could do so i have told you a proper guided uh, paths like you can go to guided websites you can actually read the book and solve the particular topics on a particular scs es website also you can increase your rank by practicing the upper level rank questions and this is the manner how you would be able to achieve master or candidate master within 5 months so it would just take time and consistency is the key and practicing and giving the contest is only the manner how you could achieve it so this is about this whole video if you have any doubt do comment the, uh, them in the below and if you like this video do like share and comment do subscribe to the coding ninjas youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified for amazing new videos okay bye bye i meet you in the new video afterwards